Hi right, everyone, hope you're having a great day. So today, reading James 2, we see that we, he talks about a lot about the Torah and about offending the Torah, right? Becoming guilty of the Torah and uh, sinning. But a lot of people say, well, we have no Torah. Then I want to ask you, what are you sinning from? Why do you need to ask for repentance if there is no sin? If there's no law, if, you do, if you're committing adultery, that's not sinning, right, anymore if you have no Torah. Well, let's see what James had to say. This is after Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, had died. And everyone says it was on the cross. But let's see what James has to say. For whosoever shall guard the whole Torah and yet offend it in one point, he is guilty of all. For he that said, do not break wedlock, said also, do not kill. Now, if you do not break wedlock, yet if you kill, you have become a transgressor of the Torah. So he says, it does not matter what sin you sin, as long as you're breaking the Torah, you're still breaking Torah. It doesn't matter if it's a great sin or a low sin, it's still breaking the Torah no matter what the sin is. So speak ye, and so do, as they shall be judged by the Torah of liberty. For whoever shall have judgment without mercy, that has showed no mercy, and mercy rejoices upon against judgment. What does the prophet, my brethren, though a man say he has belief and have not works, can belief save him? So guys, he's saying, if you don't follow Torah, but you say you believe, how can your belief save you? If you're not showing that you believe, right? You just say, I believe, and you're not following the law, right? They've got to follow the law and believe, right? you got to believe that Yeshua came back. He is our salvation. He is our repentance from the sin of the Torah, right? The Torah isn't, isn't a curse. It's a blessing because we know not what to do. We know what our Creator wants us to do and not to do. So guys, I hope you guys have a great day, and remember to follow the Torah.